and welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Kim Opera, and of course, Trending is your one stop show for everything nice. My name is Pascal, and of course, Trending brings you everything and everyone that is trending. We're on a short break right now. When we return, the show continues. Welcome back. You're still watching Trending brought to you by Airtel. And you know, we always bring you the best of the best on the show. And today, we have Africa's Number one Afrobeats guitarist, recording artist, and producer, Fioki in the Fioki building. Fioki in the beauty. Oh my God, it's Fioki, baby. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah. Oh, thanks for coming. Thanks Who's for that girl coming. that is Fioki? Who's that girl? Omo. Are they different they or just, just one go. person? They long. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the, there's a girl that you know can I just told that. I just told that. It's Fioki. I want you to sound like Fioki's about to finish you <laughs> on that microphone. <laughs> See, it's, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> what she you? did the first take. I said, ah, "Are you joking?" Yeah, no, like, uh -uh. yeah, no. It does, it doesn't sound like. Yeah, you want to finish you. Yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. I said, "Just try." You kept on trying. I said, "That's the take." What well, she got it. Really. And everybody wants to hear. Oh my God, it's few kids. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> they said, "That's the sound." That's the sound. And you know what? When I when I add it to some sounds, it sounds like a uh, sample on a beat. Mm. Some signatures can actually distract. And uh, but but that particular one, I said, "I beg, don't forget to put that tag. Put them, put them." So this yeah. is very interesting. Yeah, it's very, very interesting. It's unique. Well, how did you think of that, like, to have that on Now, let me tell you why I did that. Mm -hmm. In this part of the world, they don't appreciate instrumentalists. We're always behind the scene. Then mm. you hear, produced by. What about sax, guitar, other elements that you mm. hear on the song? What happened? Who played them? No, yes. no, they just get credit to. Even it's when good. you are reading article, I started fighting, you know what eh? Proposing some some artists they say don't worry I will give you when they release the song when you go, go to read the article they won't put it mm. the era yeah. before IG yes. where you have to go to blogs to read uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. and I said you okay, have to be smarter than the system you have to be proactive I started doing Fioki cab you know before I started doing this one mm -hmm. I used to do Fioki mm -hmm. yes so that anywhere I go they say ah Fioki some people used to hear Fioki but they can't even identify the mm. face the the face. Yes. yeah so yes. then I did oh my God it's Fioki some artists were even fighting. Say, mm. don't put that tag. Don't put it. But when I now did the song with Ricardo Bans and Tiwa, I said, like, Wizzy Baby, oh, my, yeah. oh, my, oh. So, and my song with that, with Tiwa, I put them there. When that song blew, some artists said, Baba Bege, don't forget to put your tag. Oh. Tag that people were fighting for me not to put now, mm -hmm. now becomes a hit. So, like. everything is possible. Yeah. Yes, like me to Ricardo Bans and Tiwa. Yeah, but if it, it looked like, as though it was still, uh, it was uh, Ricardo's, Ricardo's song. Uh, song. It's a collaborative like effort. It's a collaborative mm. effort. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Amazing. So after then, oh my God, this Fioki blew up. Mm. Mm. So speaking God. about instrumentalists and producers and all of that, right? You know, it, now in the era of Afrobeats and music generally, like mm. we have a lot of producers instrumentalists you know and hype men now you know diverting into music and mm -hmm. actually like producing or having their own or being artists by themselves like what, what's your take on that i'm very happy that uh, the industry is wide enough now and everybody's enjoying it then it used to be uh, alibaba creating industry for the comedians mm -hmm. like um, uh, um, basket mouth and mm -hmm. ay ay now follow follow suit and start creating platform to other ones. Then artists like them, eh, Fela, them Two-Face, the modern Afrobeat, you get what I'm saying, them Wizzy, before you know them Fireboy, Seth and Rema. They, what happened to the instrumentalists? Mm -hmm. There was no instrument in industry for musicians, because instrumentalists are musicians. Yeah. People that sing, I call them artists. But artists that sing and play instruments, I call them musicians. Okay. Yeah, so this is how I separate them. So I, I realized that there was no industry mm. for instrumentalists. Like, Hype men too, there was no industry for them. I said, I said, okay, I have to use this guitar to make noise. Mm. I was intentional with every of my move. But for, for you to be intentional, you need to know what you're doing first. I started seeing guitar as microphone. Guitar is an instrument. Mm -hmm. I don't see it as instrument, I see it as mic. So once I hold that guitar in my head, it's microphone. So I sing with the guitar. When you're listening to Scapegoat by the Bunch, you hear guitar too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's me. Mm -hmm. When you hear Gobe by David Do, if you are listening to the voice, there's another instrument that is ringing in your ear. Yes. That is balancing and giving yeah. you. So I'm just like the spice and color of Afrobeat. Mm. While you're singing, I'm spicing it up for you. Okay. You must remember my guitar line in every song. Yeah. That was yeah. my intention. Woju, Laye, 
wow. at the Clegwood Pickup Rente. See me first ever single. Da, 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 da. Uh, oh. um, Chief Jeremy, one bed you do all the songs. See me solo album. Techno Duro Wash. Wow. Yeah, yeah, upload the say Zero. away. Wow. Flavors wow. album, all those uh, levels, doings. I was intentional. If you get da, 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 who go, who no go, no, no, da, 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 da. All these songs, I was intentional. So before you know, Fioki was everywhere. Uh -huh. Since the era of 2010 to 2020 to 20, 20 till uh -huh. now, I dominated the whole Afrobeat songs. Yes. Before you know, other instrumentalists got inspired. Uh -huh. Before you know, they started having confidence. If Fioki can do it, it's possible. I can do it too. Some of them may call me and say, ah, Baba, thank you. There are some jobs where we say, artists not will pay you again. They will come yeah, call us. exactly. So I was able to create a job for them. Mm -hmm. by doing something spectacular and exactly. before you know the instrumentalist industry if you listen to most of the producers now they mm -hmm. can't survive with with, with just just their own their own their own you see some of them that are partnering with the guitarist yes you see uh, this boy magic sticks has a guitarist that he works with steady okay um uber bless me has my boy who he works with you see them they are working and me and kublon me and dj kublon started that combination from Wuju to Laie to plenty hit songs. But I'm very impressed that I've been able to God has used me yes, to, create to create industry for yes. instrumentalists. Like that's yeah. that's really that's really interesting to know. So what would you say was that um, factor that stood out for you that made because like like you've mentioned you've made you've worked with like the big um, cats, both mm -hmm. new old Everybody. and old and seasoned, you know, you've worked with like the greatest of the great in the industry. What would be that thing that you said that set you apart from the others? I grew up not trying to sound like anybody. When I grew up, when people say, I like your sound, means you're original. Mm. When they say, you remind me of somebody, mm. you are not original. So I was avo avoiding, you remind me of. I was paying attention to, I like your sound, so like you have your accent, you have your tone when you're talking. So mm -hmm. I, I, I transferred that to my instrument. I want to talk different, I want to sound different. So once you hear Fioki sound, I stand out. Mm. So I work on that sound face, my identity. Mm -hmm. So that actually stood me out and I actually know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm not a fluke guitarist. I don't mm. just play, I play with understanding. I can analyze what I'm doing. For every song that I'm recording on, I can analyze the song. Okay, this song has this is so elements. Like what Bonner Boy said, Afrobeat has it's like a pizza. Yeah. You put so many spices. Yeah. So yeah. the particular song might have that three genre of music. Maybe the one of the genre of music might come from R and B. Might come from the vocal melodies. The beat might just be Afrobeat. The rhythm might be might be another pop sound. Yeah. So be able to analyze this and uh, separate this sound. They know how to approach it. I know the choice of melody that you are going to use. And remember that you are not the artist. Don't yeah. outshine the artist. <laughs> you are supposed to yeah. compliment the artist yeah. and make the music sound better. Because it's the way you mm. play on the song, it becomes a noise maker. True. And before True you know, that. they pull out your guitar. Mm. They wanted these things to sound better. We, we, maybe you get song now. You so get what would I'm you, saying? So would you say that's one of the reasons this artist likes to work with you? Because you don't, yeah. you don't try to outshine them. Because I know that that's something that, you know, is very common. Artists, common, they, yes. their ego is like this. They mm -hmm. want to be the artist. Exactly. Just drop, just, just with them the like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then, um, why they want to work with me is years of experience. Mm. You can't buy it. You have to earn it. True. Mm -hmm. So I have I the like experience. I, like the experience. I have the experience. I know. I understand. And I've been playing guitar for 23 years now. Wow. Yeah. So I work with the reggae band, Makosa band. Yeah. I know R and B. I can separate myself into like eight so, personalities. Yes, and different so genres go too. I, I keep telling you that Afrobeat is like kindergarten music to what I know in music. Mm -hmm. So they are still growing to our level. Yes. So, uh, so anywhere they are going to, we are already there waiting for them. You no. say what you <laughs> want to say because we did, we did so, so much complex music. <laughs> yes, that exactly. We have to cut it down. Mm -hmm. it and yeah, we have to cut it, it down because yeah. uh, at some point, because I was working with Flavor a lot, mm -hmm. people were actually classify me as highlight guitars. Yes. Yes. You know me from 2003. Oh, they play and your hand go bend like this. You go play chord. I remember when I was playing in church then. Sometimes keyboards go and play in uh, Obito. Well, Saturday, maybe my normal top Sunday service. Now you have to go cover up for the keyboards. I was using guitar to play choir jam. All those Marvin, Marvin Sap, Marvin Slot, all those things. Marvin Sap, uh, Donnie McClucking with 
big big chords i'll use my guitar to drop it you would think it's a keyboard that is playing it wow. so we've done all those complex music before mm. so doing afro beats is like i'm picking notes i'm just enjoying myself yeah. i don't see it as any big deal to so me so what you're trying to say now if yeah. i can understand you correctly is like you're saying that your knowledge of music is way beyond Afrobeat. yeah way beyond that but because Afrobeat is just like just basic it's not like just keep it simple yeah and you know what simplicity does it what we are exactly. doing in Afrobeat is actually what actually brings the, the money. The money. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Afrobeat is like the sweet music of Afrobeat is what actually works. Yeah. If you study your, your just complex music, it doesn't really bring money. Yeah, exactly. All the classic colors. I, and everything. I remember I, I, was, I played at Muson Jazz Festival 2009. They brought Gerald Albright, they brought uh, Jonathan Butler. They think uh, this is a classic mm. FM, did that. And I asked them, what's the next edition? They said, the ne next year. So you say, I will wait for another year before <laughs> we we'll do this edition. <laughs> no, 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 jazz is not for me here in Africa. You. So you had to, so I needed to tap into something Into else. the Afrobeat mainstream industry. Mm -hmm. I needed to re-strategize before you know. But we all I was able things. to break into the mainstream mm -hmm. mm, with just guitar. If somebody was saying, how come say you know they sing, but they use but guitar, they, they make noise. Yeah. I say, hey, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. There's this TikTok, uh, this TikTok influencer that doesn't, that doesn't talk. This guy, what's this black guy? Tabby. Okay, Tabby. Okay, does, does uh, like uh, you know, even the talk is popular. So everything exactly. is possible. The difference between plantain chips and uh, packaging. Do we have different genres of music in Nigeria? First things first, so in Africa. Yeah, different generally. Genre. So is it that unfair to actually put all of them in a box and say they are all under the Afrobeat genre? What I feel I suggest they should do is under Afrobeat, they should be sub. Mm -hmm. generally under Afrobeat mm -hmm. because when you just you say only Afrobeat mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's just word particular general but there are so many general like there's high life mm -hmm. so, so does high life fall, fall under Afrobeat yeah Afrobeat has a other elements okay if you say Afrobeat I can you can hear R&B high life mm -hmm. pop jazz I fused all these things inside Afrobeat songs when I record Okay. But like I told you that, some guys, some artists sounds like R&B, mm -hmm. some this chord might have the jazz chord. So I'm, I will make sure that I incorporate all these elements when I'm recording the guitar so we bring the color out. Okay. So when you say Afrobeat, they are putting you in a box. Mm -hmm. But they just needed to create a, a category for us first. For it starts, you have to start from it somewhere. You have to start from somewhere. 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 Then okay. you can introduce other, other or sub genre under Afrobeat. Under yeah. Afrobeat or yeah. outside Afrobeat? Under Afrobeat, because they're already giving us this Afrobeat now. You need to let these guys understand that mm -hmm. there are other uh, sub mm -hmm. under Afrobeat that they don't Afrobeat. know. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why Wizzy was trying to tell us that we yeah, shouldn't put us in a box. Don't put us yeah, in so, a box. But, so but if you're saying sub genres under Afrobeat, it's still putting people in a box because the head topic will still be Afrobeat because I mean over there in the Western world mm. there's hip hop, rap, they're all separate from they, have different, they are uh, not under genres. one umbrella. Mm -hmm. You don't control the system. Who controls the system? Exactly, Them. they do. Okay. So they give you, they get all they even try to give you Afrobeat. <laughs> so <they> start somewhere. <laughs> then you can start to introduce other ones. Yeah. And hey, with time you can. We have people that have the power, like people like Wizzy and then David. They mm -hmm. will start. They will start when they go on interview. They will yeah. start yeah, promoting. Yeah, because yeah, 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 they, they, yeah, well. they can do it. They yeah, can yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. It's a small platform where I get. Like it's a small <laughs> platform where they give me like this. Mm -hmm. See, I don't the talk on for him. Exactly. It's, it's, it's great to actually see how mm -hmm. far you've come. Mm -hmm. But in, in all the levels of success or successes that you've made, mm -hmm. um, do you feel like you're still underrated? In this space, in this African space, in this Nigerian space, you feel like you know, you're not getting the right I made a that statement you earlier. Deserve. I said the industry was designed not to favor instrumentalists. Yes. You see somebody we're not even sabi sing just to cough <coughs> because he's holding a microphone they value him more than instrumentalist 100%. that's why i was intentional i took it upon myself so i need to fight for instrumentalists do you know what it means for you to play instruments have flexibility have you tried to hold a guitar i've been doing that for 20, 20 24 years sometimes we ask for eight hours yeah eight hours just to perfect our craft and this guy just come to sing for like 10 minutes 10 seconds and cough <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> so there must be a balance mm -hmm. i understand is uh is that's that's where it works mm -hmm. and the flowers i never got my flowers yet i better i don't really care yeah. uh, i know my value i give myself flowers every every time every year i always go to internet because i believe that it's just i'm i'm like a church i have new members coming in 
that's followers. So the artists yes. that is, that Yeah, so every year I need to introduce myself to new follow, new followers. Say, oh, this is what I've been doing. In case you are just coming in, uh, in case you are just following me for the first time, yeah. this is me, this is what I've been doing from so so time. I always drop them and say, attention, read below. I will list all my receipts. I'll do it. Give yourself flowers. <laughs> I love you know it. Give. I love that. It's great, yeah. man. You know, because I know like producers are already having this conversation. So would you say that it's about time like artists start giving uh, this thing that they get now, royalty? royalty. Royalties. You, would you say it's about time? I mean, not it's everybody. It's not even about time. It's already happening. It's already happening. Okay, so you're getting royalties from I, some I, of the some songs. Some, you... some might not even want to. I get it by force. You know why? Let me good. tell you. Very good. You know what I'm saying? Any music that's been released, it's mm. not released in Nigeria, you know, in Africa. They mm. release them in uh, Spotify, Apple, publishing everything once in America. Yeah. And they respect intellectual property. I, I can't call any any artist here to if I want to get my publishing. Mm. I will operate from that system. My team. Okay. I'm a member of a society in the UK, PRS for Music. Mm. I've been a member since 2015. And my publisher, publisher is different from. Publishing has two ways, mechanical and performance publishing. Okay. Performance is you being, being a member of a society, they take your performance, okay. collecting society. Then your publisher goes for your mechanicals. Okay. So my publisher is Capture the Sound of Music, New York. So those ones, I once I tell them, oh, this song, the artist, I don't want to do split sheet. I'll tell my publisher to handle it. Straight okay. Up. That's where the experience comes in, yeah. right? Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good to know that you're getting your royalties from getting, that. It's very, very important. And you know what? Once this artist, some of them, once they see that you know what you are not supposed to know, mm. they want to avoid you they because cut, they don't want you, you to up. grow with them. Mm. You know what? Is it that deep? If you don't want it, I don't need you. Okay, so so let's talk about Fioki now. Like, what are you working on? You know, new music, any new collaborations coming out? What is you happening? Know, give us a tea. Omo, I just dropped a new song, and it's called No Way. No mm. Way. Funny enough, when I when I posted the artwork. You will say, ah, who is he featuring this time? Because oh, it's always been me doing the guitar, bringing artists. The last one I did was with Spyro. Mm -hmm. Your body is hot, it's hot. You won't help oh, me yes. promote the song. I got mm -hmm. to bless you. Thank mm -hmm. you. So, this one, they were looking out for the featured artists, and they got to realize that nobody was featured on the song. I got to sing it. Wow. I always like to surprise people. If it's out. It's out. Video exactly. don't come out too. Muna, mm -hmm. uh -uh. help my career. That's nice. No way. It's out. Yeah. We wish you the best. <laughs> we do. Thank you so much. We, we wish do. you the best, you yes, know. And, uh, you know, maybe, you maybe, one, day, maybe one day. Maybe one day. I want to be your spender. <laughs> I don't get money now, Shah. <laughs> your striker, your defender. Oshie. I better give me love before now. Oshie. I don't go do you, Yama, Yama. I go talk to you, tell you things we go make you smile. Uh, Anytime he text me, baby, I must to reply. Aww. For this work, I no get waiting to make me resign. I no go let any guy come chance me. <laughs> baby, there's no way. They play no, my way no way, no way. <laughs> <laughs> this guy said, "Go go to me." That's it. Like <laughs> <laughs> so this guy no fit chance me. I go block him. No way. That's the that's the storyline of the song. I love I like it. That's nice. It's uh, E for energy. It's there. It's there. It's there now. It's there. All right, guys. We're going to be going on a short break. When we return, we're going to be playing some games with Fioki. <laughs> so don't go anywhere because we'll be right back. Welcome back. You're still watching Trending and we still have Fioke in the studio and he's Fioke about to play some more games with I and Pascal. Absolutely. So we're going to be playing the music riddle. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, right. Number one riddle. I am an artist. I want the head is next rated after Rema. Who am I? I'm trying to remember that. So after Rema. Benson. Benson. Is that your final answer? Was there another one after Answer Rema? Answer <laughs> I've been looking for Benson. If I fail, I don't know. No, fail. You, you failed it. It's not Benson. It's. Omale. Omale. Oh, the year yeah. before. That's why I'm like, Grandma has yeah. been around for a minute yes. now. Exactly. It's like, it's Omale. Four that's years. There's no that's way I would crazy. Have yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Well, Benson won. Yeah. Yeah, Benson won. But that's not the Benson won. After. <laughs> <laughs> the second riddle I am an artist. My brother owns a record label, and I am a rapper. Who am I? He just recently owned the record label. He just recently owned it. So you see if that, that will be easier. Charlie Poppy's brother. Charlie Poppy. Zeric. Oh. Eric. So if uh, you need a complete. Eh? No, I don't know rapper. 
I'll be the prince. Because uh, the prince is a rapper, isn't it? Yes. It's M. very vast. What? Are you sure? Are you going for MI? Are you going for are you going for MI or you going for Jazzy? Face. If I don't yeah. feel, I don't feel. Either you win or you fail. Okay. Anything that comes, you just so take you said, it. So you said MI. I said MI. You're correct. Ah, I you're correct. You're correct. Hey. First one. One out of two. Ah. All right. At least I don't get coconut head. Okay, it's mm -hmm. okay. Calm down. One more. <laughs> we know. I'm a record label. Mm? I split it. And my record label changed their name twice. That's a uh, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. I'm like, I'm like, I'm yes, I'm like, 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 i am like 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 i are you the only one that has worked for eight years? Time to talk of the moment. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Final radio. I'm a person. I won the Grammy Award Best African Music Performance. Who am I? Do it with the dance. What about this girl now? Tyler. Yeah, do the dance now. <laughs> no, not for girls now. Why are you the dance directly? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they stress me? <laughs> More than this, they use another eye to they look me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you that tried it. You did that many. You scored that many. Oh, my, like two, two over five. I enter class when That's I go. Four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go to the video or picture of the day. Let's yeah. direct your face to the screen. <laughs> you guys are not serious. So that's me right there. Where? See that charcoal now? Uh huh. Now you there. Wow. But won't Why not look like staff or like we won't this? Who won't finish us that? It's been four years though. This is period here. Yeah. This is the period they deceived us. Say, you that have to look like superstars. <laughs> they, want, they say you have to pierce your ear. We change. We'll buy 1,000 knives. Try and put for neck. Wait, at least I see still not bad. Oh. Uh, no. This is 2009. We shot this picture. When we were shooting video with a bestseller. Eh? Oh, okay. With the we did a video with Bessere, so it's just different. What should we like? Sang, you go, go, be uh -huh. careful now. Nah, it was Kenneth's Kenny's music artist then. Nah. Uh -huh. In 2009? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And you've been in the industry for a you long period of time. 24 years. 24 years. Been for 24 years. 24 years. Oh, wow. Yes, so I'll be OG before I Yes, yes. Mm. You're 42. So we we'll take 24 from 42. 42. That's a lot, man. Don't calculate that. You are ashamed to do it. And I'm still here. Yeah, you are still here. Uh -huh. You so know what that means. For you to be really I always, I always uh, admire, like, like you know, when we've had, like, the season, because now I will put you as a season cut, because you're not a new person in the industry. I've, I've always admired how, you know, you guys have the ability to evolve with time. I tell you. Yeah, you know not why, everyone can do that. You know what? If, when I'm with the Genesis, I don't try to rub it on their face. Do you know how they are? I always tell them, I'm your mate. So it's a Baba, forget to, we know your age. Oh. It's <laughs> just a package. Oh. So I always like to evolve, see what is going on, mm. evolve with the sound. I feel like every year I should be doing what, what everybody's doing. Yeah. What is trending now? Uh -huh. It's trending. Then I'll add it with my experience because mm. you can't buy that experience. Yes. So with my experience with, and with what is trending, I will always be ahead of the game. Yeah. No, good the wind can't throw me out. I'm in the system. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you had an amazing time mm -hmm. as we did. We did. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms on Instagram is at official hip TV. On X and YouTube is at hip TV. My name is Kim Opera. And my name is Pascal. Always remember as well that trending airs at a 9 a.m. hour every weekday and of course the 8 p.m. hour on channel 324 and DSTV and 22 on GoTV. It will come your way next time. Do not forget to keep it moving. Keep it moving.